before you start cover dops decide if you just want to have fun that's fine god i'm just gonna run take my gun and run into the middle of the area and shoot everybody and then die or you want to take it seriously but if you take it seriously then please take it seriously you can actually extract with tons of money covert ops is nice so when we talk about covert ops people usually say that i have nothing to lose i can run in and then try my luck and basically if i die nothing happens actually that's not right because you are losing time and time is money right so if you play covert multiple times along the day and you keep losing you keep dying then you're gonna waste an hour or two hours just by trying. So I would want you to consider covert ops a bit differently going forward. You can still have fun, that's, that's perfectly fine. If you're fed up of dying from tactical ops and then you jump into your covert ops just to have fun, that's perfectly fine. But if you wanna do covert ops to farm coin, then I can give you a strategy, but in that case, you need to focus even during the covert ops games. For me, a good run means 250K or above, 300,000, 400,000, and so on. I'm not sure what you consider as a good run. Leave a comment, let me know. Maybe it's just 100K, 150K. For me, the target is 250. The strategy I'm offering is gonna work on any of the maps. So what you wanna do early game as the number one thing is to find a bot and get yourself a T3 helmet and T3 armor and eventually replace your starting weapon. Maybe you start with a shotgun and you find an AK or something that is like slightly better. If you are lucky, you're gonna find a bot with T3 purple ammunition, which is gonna help you getting your first kill. But when I say start killing a bot, then you shouldn't be running to the bots and start killing everybody. No, just do a silent kill, okay? Just a bot who is standing next to something and just silently kill him, grab his stuff and then move on because we don't wanna make too much noise. The second thing you want to do or not to do is don't start looting. Don't loot anything. Don't loot the boxes, the drawers, the cases, nothing because we want to find a player or a duo and then grab their stuff, their T-Force, their M-Force, their equipment and everything. This is going to give you kind of the majority of, of value that you're extracting. It can happen that in normal mode you find a key or eventually even something that uh, has value but it's not that often and basically you spend 15 minutes like searching and then you run into another scav, he kills you and then you extract with nothing. And since you don't have a composite case, even if you find something that has high value, you can easily lose it. So it just doesn't make sense. Believe me, focus on the players, okay? So this brings me to the next topic. After having an armor, a helmet, you're gonna mark a location, okay? Something that you expect to be crowded, like on Northridge, it's got with your hotel, obviously. And then you start heading towards that location. But, but, if you hear gunshots, then you're gonna change your plan because it may be a scav or a player and we want to chase that player and try to sneak as close as you can to understand whether you're facing players or another scav. If it's another scav, then leave him alone, let him die, do his battles with the bots. But if it's a player, it's time to set up your attack and don't just blindly run towards them because most likely they're gonna have headsets. They gonna hear you, <laughs> hear you running towards them and you're gonna become an easy target. They're just gonna look at that direction you're coming from and shoot you. So what you wanna do is to get closer until they are like visible for you, but keep hiding. And then search for something where you can cover. It can be a house, it can be a cliff, a tree, something where you can hide. So don't review yourself because most likely their weapons are gonna be better than yours. And then once you have the perfect time to attack then attack and don't look back okay regardless of what happens you are going to switch into the rush daemon mode and then just destroy that enemy player that's the objective and this is actually the hardest part to achieve to pull off in covert ops because once you have your first kill you pick up all of the equipment t4 maybe even t5 pick up the helmet, the rig, the backpack, everything, guns, and then you just play as you would play in normal tactical ops. At this point, you can actually decide whether you wanna stay on the map because you can decide just to extract with the new gun and new armor, 
or you can eventually put that new gun into action and chase additional players to get even higher loot. This is actually perfectly up to you, so you should evaluate if the stuff you got is enough or you want just more. But don't be greedy, okay? Because greediness often kills us in this game. Just to give you some hints on how to find enemy players besides heading to your main location, you could actually check the places where we have bosses. Maybe you get lucky and somebody is fighting that boss when you get there and then you can third party them and then it's gonna be an easy kill. Another thing you can do is to stand next to some of the bots and then pretend to be one of them. And in that case, if enemy players are gonna be approaching that area, let's say North Street Hotel parking lot, they may not spot that you are an imposter. The third one is finding a good spot and start ratting or camping. I personally don't do that because I think it's boring, but it's a validated and working strategy. There's one more thing you can do. If you have a gun with a spare mag, then start shooting. Do noise. And if you do noise, that's gonna raise the attention of other players and they're gonna check that area. Maybe you're gonna face some scabs, but if you are lucky, again, you need a tiny bit of luck. If you are lucky, then a player is gonna run towards this location and then it's gonna be an easy kill because they expect some fights to happen there, but you are just setting up a trap because there is no fight happening. You are just shooting around. You can do that and sometimes it works. And actually after having some decent equipment, you can spend some time looting because arena breakout wouldn't be fun without looting. After having your T4, your new gun or something, you can you can check the drawers, maybe free saves or crates, boxes, whatever, and then just extract and then easy money, 300k or even 400k. I had some very decent covert ops games where I extracted more compared to my tactical ops games where I was dressed up in T5. So covert ops, definitely worth it. Last but not least, if you feel there's something I haven't covered in the covert ops topic and you have a different type of strategy, then please go ahead, leave a comment and let me know. Thank you for your attention. Happy looting, happy shooting, shoot, loot, subscribe and join my discord. Meet some nice people. Have a nice day. And as always, see you in the next one, folks. Shady out. Bye.